Okay, here we are with the PowerFlex transmission mounts. Let's open this box up real quick, poke around in here. We've got our nuts and washers. Uh, what else we got here? We got... All right, there's one of the mounts. I'm going to point out to you the, the indexing uh, uh, knob there. Let's pull out the second one. Let's have a look. I'm sure it looks exactly like the first. All right, get it out of there. There we go. Okay, so there's both the new transmission mounts. I've got a couple sockets there. No idea what size they are, but this is a pretty easy install. You should be able to figure it out yourself. Okay, so now I'm pointing at the stock ones, uh, the stock transmission mounts for some reason. I'm pointing out the nuts that you're going to take off from the top as if you were able to find those. Uh, there's my uh, uh, jack uh, holding up and supporting the transmission uh, through the use of uh, tactical plywood there. Uh, here's some more uh, nuts you're going to take off. You should be able to figure that out as well. Uh, I'm going to take out a couple of bolts here on either side of the brace. Yeah, no sweat. Okay, here's me pointing out the indexing holes that I showed you on the mouse themselves. That's where they're going to go. And then a quick comparison of the old mounts to the new mounts. Uh, obviously, the, uh, the old mounts are pretty uh, rubbery and, and move around quite a bit. Those new mounts are extremely stiff. Okay, so yeah, there's the new mounts. Uh, you can see the, the, the mount on top of there. My camera work here is pretty shoddy showing you the shop. I'm not showing you what I'm doing for some reason. Uh, let's see if we get the camera back. Go ahead, pan up. Pan up. Come on, you can pan up. There we go. Okay. Nope, still not panning up. Come on. We gotta take a look at it. We gotta see what we're doing. Alright. Alright, now you can finally see them in there and indexed onto the group. Okay, so important note. <clears throat> it looks like uh, you have to wait to tighten these until you get this lined up. I just tried to get this situated in here and this is not gonna line up I get one in here but this one is a good quarter inch off I think it's gonna have to be loose at the top and then you bend it a little bit to get it into the into the, uh, the hole here. Um, so yeah that's a good tip if you're doing this on a Supra uh, this cross brace here is uh, uh, gonna be a problem if you tighten these the top ones up ahead of time better get it lined up first and then tighten the tops So yeah, I had to loosen them both up to get it in here. Um, so it does actually make it more difficult to loose or to tighten the top. So uh, yeah, when you're doing this, just make sure you leave the tight the uh, the tops loose uh, before you put the cross brace on, uh, and then you should have no problem getting this to fit. Okay, and here's the finished product with the new mounts in. Uh, pretty simple process. Appreciate you watching today. Uh, sorry for the voiceovers, but uh, we'll clear it up on the next one. Thanks again for watching Price Point Racing. See you next time.